Hey guys, it's time for this week's Science Sunday, and apologies in advance for the production value here, but uh, I've been working all day, and I left this a bit late, so instead of fancy, ed fancy editing, you will now be dealing with this beautiful whiteboard. So this week we're dealing with the Monty Hall problem, which goes as follows. Uh, there is one prize behind one of three doors. A contestant on the 1970s game show Let's Make a Deal would come up and be given the opportunity to choose one of the three doors. Monty Hall, the host of the game show, would then come in and open one of the doors that the player had not selected and give the player an opportunity to switch. Now, intuitively, you wouldn't think this would make any difference because either the prize is or is not behind the door, therefore why would switching make a difference? And I'm here to tell you that there's a little bit more here than meets the eye, and we're going to go through it now. So, for our purposes, I'm going to label the prize with a big green check mark. So that will say, for example, will be the door with the prize behind it. And these two will not have a prize behind them because they have big red X's. Now, the way we would cal um, calculate a probability for something like this is the probability for finding the prize is one prize over the chance of three doors, or one over three which is equal to 0 0.3 repeating. All probabilities are going to be between 0 and 1, but they correspond to percentages, so 33%. Now, that means, conversely, that there are two chances here to get no price on the initial run of the um, game, which is equal to 0 0.6 repeating, or 66%, give or take, 67%. So, on just rough probabilities alone, to start the game, it's a chance of 1 in 3 of being correct. Now, this could go to one of two ways. Either you've chosen the correct door, or you selected an incorrect door. We'll go through the lucky guess scenario first. So, in this case, you're asked to go on to the game show and select one of the doors, and you're lucky, and you choose the right door. Now, what does this mean? This means that Monty Hall is going to come in, and he has a choice of choosing either one of these doors at random to open and give you a chance to switch. So in this case, let's say he opens this door here. This means the only other available door for you to switch to is one without a prize. So in this case, in this scenario, if you switch, you will lose 100% of the time. So that's one way this could go. There's not there's an alternative. Now you have two-thirds of a chance, two out of three, of choosing a wrong door. So let's say, for our purposes, you have chosen this door right here. This means that Monty, Monty Hall, when he comes to open one of the doors, he can't open this door. This door right here is not available to him, because if he does, it'll reveal the prize and the game will be over and you'll have no opportunity to switch. This means that Monty Hall must open this door. In this scenario, if you guessed wrong, if you switch from this door here to this door, you will win every single time. So it's not so much a question of whether or not you're going to select the door with the right the right door, the one with the prize behind it, the question really is, are you wrong? So in two-thirds of the time, when you're wrong, switching means you will win every single time. Because the, the violation here is that this is no longer a random process. With Monty Hall opening the doors, it's no longer random and it doesn't follow straight probability. So in, in the other case, of course, where you were right, lucky guess, you will win no times at all if you switch. So this means that you are two-thirds more likely to win in the Monty Hall problem if you switch than if you don't. And that really is the Monty Hall problem in a nutshell.